Alright guys, welcome back to my YouTube channel. In this video, I wanted to show you how I edit my portraits. And for this photo shoot, actually, we shot at this exhibition center in my hometown, which is also the most popular place. It's like the Lenkwerk and it's in Bielefeld. And a lot of photographers shoot there and the area is pretty cool because it's very urban and there's so many different locations you can shoot there. And I used the A6000 and the 85mm 1.8 from Sony. So what I always do is I always add two new layers because when I make a mistake, for example, if I mess up or something, I can always delete that layer or mute it, for example. So what you can do is you have up here, um, you press on this button and here you have brightness and contrast. And what I do is I always add like around six or seven plus of contrast. So seven is fine. And now the whole image is like with a new layer with contrast. But what I then do is I always reverse the mask. So here it's now black and you can basically use your paintbrush up here. And then I get closer to the image and then I'm going to add some contrast to the faces. So I can also show you in a second uh, how it looks before and after. So this was before and this is after. So yeah, the good thing about contrast is, is it brings more depth. And in my opinion, it looks a bit better if you always add a bit of contrast. So what you can do is you can add another layer and then you go on linear dodge. So the image is more bright now. And now you can add another mask and then reverse it. And then uh, what you can do is you can take your brush here and for example, we go to Melinda and then we're going to make the brush a bit smaller and then we can really light up these areas where you have like this reflection of the eyes. And we're also going to do the same with Marina. That's fine like this. And now it's a bit crazy. So what you can do is you can change the opacity and lower it a bit, just a tiny bit. I always do like 30%, like between 20 and 30. You always have to be careful. If you exaggerate like your Photoshop skills, it might look unnatural. So I think this is fine before and after. So the eyes, they are more reflections and people always look at the eyes because people get drawn to them. So when you look closer, for example, before and after, this tiny change can make a huge difference. And the next thing, what I do is, because you also want to add more sharpness into the image because sometimes you mess up with the focus. So what I do next is I add another layer and that's why I always already added some layers to the pictures because then it's a bit easier than if you do none at all. So next what I do is, uh, you can go on filter press on over and then on high pass. So basically high pass is another layer and now it looks all gray, but you don't have to worry. So what we're going to do is press on okay, then go on normal and then overlay. And now this whole image is pretty sharp. So what we're going to do is we're going to lower the opacity to around 15, 20%. And now we have even more sharpness in the picture, just a little bit more well, it makes a huge difference in my opinion. And so we can look at the before and after so far. And the next thing, what I do is I add another layer and uh, just for security, because you never know, maybe you wanna change some things. So next you can go on brightness and contrast again. And the next thing what I do is I lower the brightness because we also want to add some vignette to the image. So now, um, the image is a bit darker. So uh, next we're going to take this brush tool again, press right click, and then we're going to make the brush a bit larger for around 600 pixels or even more, like that's good. And then we're going to do the uh, brush black so we can use it with the mask and we're going to mask out all the center bit. So now uh, both of the models are, yeah, you can see they're definitely more spot on as you can see here. So we're going to do a little mask around them. And when you see like the before and after, so we can also add some more brush here and on the left. So uh, yeah, you have like this vignette effect, which can also do for example, Instagram. But if you do it like for your website or something, you can 
add some easy vignette here. So this is how I edit my portraits. I know it's pretty simple, but I personally think this makes kind of a big difference in my opinion. So yeah, I hope you enjoyed my first portrait tutorial. There will be more tutorials like this coming soon. And I will also edit more portraits and show you how I edit them. If you like this video or in general, if you like this format, you can let me know in the comments down below if you want to see more. And guys, thank you so much again for watching. You can of course subscribe to my YouTube channel to be always up to date when I upload a new video. And guys, thank you so much for watching. And also again, thank you to the models for, yeah, for the great time. And take care of yourself and see you next time. Bye.